So this is a quick video to show you the layout of my Chaser C1 that I've built. First of all we'll have a look inside. Um, now at the back, at the bottom, um, there's an APM 2.6. Um, there's no case on it, um, just to make it a little bit smaller. You can see the yellow foam that I've glued to the top of the, um, the pressure sensor. Um, just to the left hand side of that, you can't really see it, but it's, I've embedded it into the side of the fuselage, uh, and that's a 2.4 gigahertz uh, radio receiver. It's connected to the flight controller with just a single PPM lead. Um, above that, I've put a little carbon fibre plate, um, it's tie wrapped to the wing spar. Um, that's the uh, APM power module. Now from that the input uh, has got two XT60 connectors that run in parallel so I can connect two batteries in parallel. Then the power from there goes to the flight controller that's a, a 30 amp, sorry not a flight controller, um, a 30 amp ESC. Um, it's got an extra uh, finned heat sink in there so you've got a good flow of air through there. Uh, and that just that doesn't get warm at all. Um, coming further forward, you've got the battery. Um, it's actually two batteries stacked on each other. Um, they each one is a 3S uh, made up from lithium iron cells, 18650s, and um, the the capacity of those are three amp each. So basically, you've got a 3S battery uh, with a cap capacity of 6,000 milliamp hours there. Um, you have plenty of space in front of that to fit an extra uh, set of cells uh, to take the capacity up to, to 9 amp hours. Um, you can see there's some space behind uh, and in front of that battery so you can move it backwards and forwards to get the CG right. Um, the motor at the back is a Sunny Sky X2212 uh, 1400 uh, kilo KV and that spins uh, an 8 inch by 4 inch propeller. Um, the 8 inch propeller is about as big as you can get uh, to fit between those two uh, fins at the back. Underneath, I'll just turn it over. On this side you've got um, the telemetry radio, it's a 500 milliwatt 3DR radio uh, and that sends the telemetry signals down to Mission Planner uh, and that's got a coax lead running to the um, it's a bipole uh, dipole aerial and you do actually get some fantastic range with that um, the ground station's also got a dipole area as well the compass and GPS unit is embedded in the wing at that side obviously the antenna is facing upwards uh, and it receives the, the signals from the, the satellites through the foam which is it doesn't seem to be a problem at all. And last but not least the cover that fits on top. Um, on there I've got um, a Mobius camera bolted onto it through a little 3D printed uh, bracket so it means that I can alter the angle of that bracket and it's got some little rubber vibration dampers in there uh, just to steady it. And that's it. Flies very well. Duration with that current setup is about uh, 90 minutes uh, at least. Uh, the running current is about sort of two, between two and three amp hours at cruising.